Hi, my name is Matthew Planer of Police Innovations. I've been a police officer for more than 30 years. One minute can change your entire career. I'd like to take that one minute to introduce you to the ease, speed, and safety of our patented prisoner restraint system. The Supplemental Prisoner Adjustable Restraint, or SPAR, developed for officers by officers. The Supplemental Prisoner Adjustable Restraint, or SPAR, is ready to use with the restraint bar in the highest open position. If you are using a mobile SPAR unit, lock both rear wheels prior to use. Inspect the unit, making sure it is working properly, clear from any obstructions, and all pads are attached and clean prior to placing a prisoner in the SPAR unit. Carefully move the prisoner to a position in front of the SPAR and lower the prisoner into the seat well. The prisoner's hands should be cuffed behind the back or in front with a transport belt or waist chain. The officer should be standing on either side of the prisoner at this time, escorting them into a position facing forward and upright. Prior to closing the restraint bar across the prisoner, make sure the prisoner's hair, head, arms, legs, torso, or clothing are not in the path of the moving restraint bar. The officer should be in a position on either side of the seated prisoner at this point. The prisoner should be sitting upright and facing forward. The rear arm of the officer can be used to hold the prisoner's torso in place. The forward arm of the officer can be used to pull the restraint bar down across the prisoner's torso and close to a comfortable position, leaving space for limited movement as not to interfere with respiration. Secure the locking lap belt by taking the long male end of the belt, walking around the front of the prisoner outside of kicking range, and secure the lap belt on the side of the prisoner. The lap belt can be adjusted to a comfortable fit. The locking lap belt can be released with a pen point or a double lock pin of a handcuff key. At this time, an additional set of handcuffs can be attached to the rear cuff rings and to the prisoner's cuffed hands if the prisoner is cuffed behind or to a transport belt if the prisoner is cuffed in front. Shackles can now be applied by the officer outside of kicking range if necessary by having the prisoner extend their feet straight out in front of them. The shackle chain can be affixed to the rings under the seat with the included heavy quick link. It is important to maintain a position to the side of the prisoner during this application. To release the prisoner from the spar, the officer should be to either side of the seated prisoner. Release the shackle chain from the quick link under the seat. Remove attaching set of cuffs from the rear cuff rings and remove the locking lap belt clearing the front of the spar and the prisoner. Verify clothing, hair, and body parts are clear of any moving parts of the spar. With the forward hand, lightly push down on the restraint bar. And with the rear free hand, depress the yellow release tab on top of the spar unit. Always use the front hand to guide the spring-loaded restraint bar to the highest position for maximum clearance. Carefully assist the prisoner to a standing position and away from the spar unit. The spar should be cleaned if necessary, inspected, and prepared for the next use. Thank you for your time. For more information, please visit us at policeinnovationsllc.com.